Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are playing with the Aether Beauty Joshua Tree Desert Matte Palette. And she looks like this. She's beautiful. And this is the look that I created with using only this palette. If you would like to see how I created this look, please keep on watching. Before we begin with the video, however, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Be sure to hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I make a brand new upload. And also, be sure to add me on all of my other social media platforms. I will link those down below for you. And now, we can get to the video. I, I don't know how creative I'm feeling today, so... We'll just see what happens with today's video. If you are wondering what skincare is on my skin, I don't know in what order uh, the videos are going to go up that I'm filming today. If my skincare video goes up before, it will be linked up above. In that video, I show you my summertime skincare routine. So to start, I'm going to go in with the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer. I'm going to use that as a primer for the eyes. And I am going to be laying that down with my beauty sponge. From the Clean Beauty Concealers, I definitely prefer this one as a base for my shadows. So I'm going to go in with the Sigma Tapered Blending E49 and I'm going to first dip into this shade right over here and that is called Pixie Rock. FYI, we have been to Joshua Tree and I love that place. So I'm going to take the shade Pixie Rock and I'm going to use that as an inner corner brow bone shade. I really just want a soft wash of color. This kind of leans a little, little pink. Then I'm gonna take a brand that shall not be. Well, actually, I guess I think we can name her now. Uh, Morphe M four one one. She looks like this. I'm gonna dip her into this shade right here, Poppy, and I'm gonna put her right in the socket here. Okay, so I built that color up uh, slightly. It took a while. Let's do this ColourPop brush. It doesn't have a name, but it looks like this. So this is the brush, uh, and I'm gonna go in with the shade Tumbleweed, which is this one right over here. I will try to focus the majority of the shade here along the outer edge. all the time. So I was thinking about going in with this shade or this shade in to the entire lid space uh, and I think I'm going to choose the shade Joshua Tree which is this one right over here. So it's nice pretty green. It's gonna match my top. Um, so I'm gonna take that shade with a large shader E60 by Sigma, which looks like this. And I am going to work that shade here into the entire lid space. And then I'm going to hop right back into the palette with the shade Tumbleweed with that same ColourPop uh, brush to kind of diffuse any sharp lines.
Okay, so after applying the shade Tumbleweed, I went back and I dipped into the shade uh, Poppy, which we've used before, and I lightly dusted some of that on to the kind of um, brow, like brow space, but definitely try to keep it nice and low. I am going to do the rest of my complexion off camera and then I will be right back. Um, I have done the uh, foundation and I have also applied concealer. I am using both shade 4 and 5 of the Kosas concealer. I did not set it. I have yet to do my bronzer as well. So I'm going to go in with um, let's do a clean Morphe M431 and I'm going to dip into the brown shades first. We're going to go in with Poppy first. And then I'll dip into a uh, tumbleweed here, okay? Okay, so I applied a little bit of the shade Joshua Tree right here on the outer lower lash line. It kind of went on a little thick because I did not use a pencil brush. I did just apply it on the large shader E40 by Sigma on here on the outer lower lash line. You should know that I did not set the concealer and I have found that I do enjoy both the Kosas and the Ilia concealer without setting them. I know, hard to believe. That is the eye look. I'm going to line the waterline with a ColourPop Honey Dude. I'm going to apply some mascara, do my bronzer, apply some blush and some highlight, and then I'll be right back. Okay, yeah, so this is the final eye look. final makeup look for the day. Um, overall, you're going to be surprised here. I really enjoyed the palette. I think that you can create a number of looks. I will be sure to play, uh, if not here on uh, YouTube, I will be sure to play with this on Instagram. I want to try to create looks on Instagram as well. So if you would like to purchase anything from the Aether Beauty website, I do have a link down below. I think it's Nadia15 where you can save 15% from your entire purchase. Anything that you purchase, uh, I will be getting a very small commission from and that will definitely help the channel here. That is all I have for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. I was already recording. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, Mag is on. <laughs> Aether Beauty Joshua Tree Joshua Tree Desert Matte Palette. <laughs> okay, let's do that again. You guessed it, it's on here. <laughs> um, I just spit all over the palette. <laughs>